Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am wearing a towel if this slips down a little bit because it's been falling like down to here so it looks like I'm sitting here naked, but I am not. Uh, my name is Reagan. If you're new here, the name of the channel is Indie Boo. Click subscribe if you're into skincare, beauty, just, you know, you know, you hear it on everyone else's videos as well. Like if you like me, yeah, subscribe. All right, anyways, today we are doing my skincare routine. This has actually been requested. This is my morning skincare routine. I'm bougie. I'm just gonna say that when it comes to skincare, I do like a full thing. Like I have all the masks, I have everything. I love skincare. I think skin health is of utmost importance. Um, especially because, yeah, I think we can prevent a lot of the things that we see as issues in the future if we take care of ourselves in the present and now. So, yeah, I've always been into skincare and I've always worn sunscreen every day and yeah. So, let's just roll into this. This has been much requested. If you would like me to do the nighttime version, I will. Just let me know down below. So, by the way, I'm truly using stuff that I would use if, even if I wasn't on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so let's just roll in. So this is the Tata Harper cleanser. It's their refreshing cleanser. So this is a very, very light, creamy, milky cleanser. So this one is pricey. I know I'm well aware. Uh, I really like this because I've had some dry skin this winter. And especially in the morning, I do like to wash my face. It's just something about like the routine of it all. So I just really massage that in there. I hate when skincare or when people do this or other bloggers or whatever companies. I would say that this is a dupe for Cetaphil because of how gentle it is. A lot of people, when they think Cetaphil, think like really gentle. This is what that reminds me of. It's really lotiony and creamy. So it's actually a dry cleanser, meaning that you apply it when your face is dry and then you rinse it off. Um, Okay, but what I don't like about whenever like making that claim at the same time is that Cetaphil is like $10 for a big glug jug and this is like 80 some I think. So yeah, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It's a bit of a cognitive dissonance, but I really do like it and I've liked it. I purchased a few Tata Harper cleansers for myself. So I have this pot of water right here to act as my sink for this part of the process. Um, but I, and I really have liked this one, especially it's super gentle, super nourishing, uh, just for the face and it's great for dry winter skin. I would probably repurchase it, but I might try and find some like cleaner, cheaper dupes in the future as well. I really do like Tata Harper's cleanser, so it's hard. It's pricey, but I love it. I really do. It has a nice light floral smell. I leave it on my face for a couple minutes just to just let the nutrients from the cleanser absorb into my skin and then I'm just going to rinse it off and I have my little towel as well. Okay so I'm rinsing it off and it doesn't foam up or anything. Okay next I'm using something that I got last year actually in a beauty heroes box so this is the siam seas this is the uh yin heal and hydrate toner i love this it smells like mango steen if any know one knows mango steen it's a popular fruit in asia oh, so i spray that onto my hands and then i just pat it into my skin it's not a toner in the sense that it's like an astringent toner it's very nourishing and it's like a very to me it's a very very light serum so it just had so much hydration. And then I've been using in my skin, I hadn't been using a serum serum for a while. And I noticed that my skin was getting a lot more dull and a lot more dry. Well, then comes Anne Marie Wild Fruit Serum back into my life and my skin has seen a complete 180 of that. So I just take a dollop. This smells so good, it's very fruity. And press it into my skin. This is a pricey serum. I think it's totally worth the money because my skin is brighter, it's plumper, like all the fine lines get hydrated. I call it hydrated out because I don't want to say like filled in because that's not a permanent thing, um, but they get hydrated out. So I just press that into my skin. I do have a few zits right now. It's an unfortunate circumstance. Okay. And then I use 
I'll do this step first. This is what I do first anyway. So I use the Indie Lee. This is the Eye Wake and Eye Serum. I really have been liking this. I've used about half of it. So what I do, just a little pea size amount. And then I use my weakest finger. So that's your ring finger. And then I start on the outside, start on the, and go into the inner corner, then press it all around my bone. So I don't need to really pat the under eye skin because this will migrate upwards. I like this, it's a really nice under eye product because it's really light and it's not so heavy like some of the creams are. Okay, and then this is new, and this is what I've been doing in the past, I guess, since ever I got the Safe and Chic box, but this is the Hint Sun Prep Broad Spectrum SPF 25. I really do like this. I like this uh, to wear under makeup. So the it's really thin, and it just blends seamlessly into the skin. So I do put this on my ears, my neck, and then on my chest, I actually use a different sunscreen that's a little bit cheaper. So one sec. Okay, so on my decollete area, I use the Z Skin. This is their organic sunblock and SPF 25. So I'm a lot more generous with this um, just because it's a cheaper product. So on my face, I like something that's just very, very light but I still am generous with the product I put on my face. So that it's not saying that, it's just saying that uh, I use a different product down on my chest and I'm, this is more like my body sunscreen just because it's, like I said, a little bit cheaper. Okay, so from here I put on my makeup and I know that this skincare routine, I didn't use any moisturizer and I didn't use any oils or anything like that. And that stuff I use more at night during the day. I just like something that is hydrating, but that is super, light on my skin because I am wearing makeup a lot of days and I want that makeup to set well on my skin and I feel like this routine I've just really kind of crafted for my skin type and it, I've just seen very good results with my makeup and my skin itself. Yes, I do have a few breakouts here. Those are hormonal though and because I know what those are from. Those are from drinking a beer the other night because my skin just does not react well with alcohol. So, alrighty guys, this was just really simple and quick. I'm curious if you've used any of these products, your thoughts on them, let me know down below. And again, let me know down below if you would like to see that nighttime routine, because I'd love to show you guys that as well. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for tuning in and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.